why not? Why not come back with another video of Madden 16 career mode featuring Escobar Sanchez, aka Esto, aka the coolest wide receiver in the NFL. Back here playing with another season with the now LA Rams, but in the video game, St. Louis Rams. And Nick Foles isn't here. Nick Foles is not our starting quarterback. Apparently, Jared Herring is our starting quarterback for the new season. As you guys know, if you looked at my last episode, we did lose the NFC Championship. But look at this. Look at this wide receiver squad we got here. Escobar, AJ Green, Michael Floyd, Kenny Brick. How are we able to get AJ Green and Michael Floyd both alongside with Escobar Sanchez? This offense is going to be nasty. I'm atrocious, but we do have a sucky quarterback. So, I don't know how good it's going to be. But we are playing against the dreaded, hated, ugly Seattle Seahawks. If I have any Seattle Seahawks fans that watch my videos, I know one of them. You guys are probably hoping for a win. Well, guess what? Escobar Sanchez has different plans. Yes, Escobar and the St. Louis Rams are looking to come into Seattle and leave with the win. It would be nice to start off 1-0 in this season, but we'll see how things go with our new rookie quarterback. I, I think he's a rookie. I'm not sure if he is. But on our first possession, on third and two, the hearing in Escobar connection is starting to spark up with the 20-yard catch. And later on that drive with a second and goal, hearing gets brought down for a sack, but there's a flag on the play. And you see that flag is holding, but it's on defense. Cam Chancellor had to hold on to Escobar Sanchez. Look at look at that. He had to hold on to him. I was this close to Bernie Cam Chancellor. Which sets up a first and goal and it sets up a TD pass from the rookie to AJ Green. It's so weird seeing AJ Green wear number 84. Like it's so weird. I'm not used to it yet, but I hope we see more of this connection throughout this season. You take a look at the injury report for the Seattle Seahawks. Russell Wilson is out for three weeks with a dislocated ankle. And Jermaine Curse is placed on IR with a broken tibia. So you think this game should be easy, right? Look at the concentration to pull that pass in. But on the third and goal... We gave up a sack, causing it to be 4th and 17, forcing us to kick the field goal. Just a little bit in the first half, we are up 10 to 0. Until that happens. Well, the offense hasn't made any plays today, but their defense just came up with a big one. Cam Chancellor makes up for the penalty and gets his first interception of the season. That was just a bad throw. That was just a bad throw by the quarterback. A very, very bad throw. So we get the ball back. We should have just ran down the clock and gone straight into halftime. But I decided to be greedy. And look what happened. Another interception, another turnover. This is not good, ladies and gentlemen. Just fast forward into the fourth quarter. Where we're down by 13 points. But a pass right here to Michael Floyd. The only reason why I'm showing you this is because I want you guys to get accustomed to seeing Michael Floyd and AJ Green on the same team alongside with Escobar Sanchez. Apparently, 
it didn't work out as much this game. We lost by seven points. And if anything, we had this game in the first half. It was just the turnovers. The turnovers in this game was 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 horrible. So we move on into the second game of the episode. Back in back in St. Louis, playing against the New Orleans Saints. And watch this block. And watch the break tackles by Todd Gurley. Running his way, steamrolling his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Todd Gurley, the running back who I think should be starting on this team. But instead, Trey Mason is starting. We take a demanding lead after this pitch and catch from hearing to Michael Floyd. That makes two TDs in two straight games. Starting to get very, very excited. Very, very excited for the, for the offense. The explosive offense that we are about to have in St. Louis. Speaking about offense, when you talk about the St. Louis offense, you can't forget this guy right here who already has 100 yards receiving in this game. With the game winding down, why not just show another touchdown? Why not show another touchdown for Escobar Sanchez? That's what you guys came to see, right? Two touchdowns this game. An amazing performance. And a great win. 31 to 21 to start the season off 1-1. One and one. An even 500 record. And we're looking to get back into the playoffs, guys. But the team that stands in our way from becoming 2-1 and one and having a winning record is the San Francisco 49ers. San Francisco 49ers fan must be happy. <clears throat> must be happy. I don't know if they really are. That, that they really did hire Chip Kelly. I don't know how that's going to work out. That's pretty weird. I don't know. If, you, if you're a 49ers fan, let me know if you guys are happy about <laughs> the 49ers hiring Chip Kelly. But nonetheless, back into the gameplay. First possession on offense, a first and 10. Hearing gets sacked, brought down in the backfield. And this ball is recovered by Alden Smith. Now the 49ers were only able to score three points on that play, but watch this. Our first play back with the ball, an interception thrown by Hearing again. And that is Eric Reed with the pick. Midway through the first quarter, and it's always a time where you're punching and counterpunching. And now they've got the pick and a chance to even score again. Now, what would you know about punching and counterpunching, Jim? Were you a boxer at one time? It's amazing. You've done every. So we are now down 13 to 0. But we're back on offense. I'm pretty sure we could try to attempt to make a combo. Oh, fuck. Oh, excuse my language, guys. We just got into the second quarter, and it's already 20 to 0. All of them, all of them off of turnovers. I'm pretty sure you guys know what this is about to be. This is about to be another turnover. Jeez, I'm starting to feel like the Arizona Cardinals right now. That is Antoine Bethea getting his hands on the ball. Oh, yep. There we go. Another turnover. Why not? Why not just give out turnovers to everybody on the 49ers defense? Oh, oh, I got you guys. You guys thought that this was a turnover right here, but it's not. F 
Finally, we put points on the board. Finally, it took us two quarters. A little bit over two quarters to finally put points on the board. And yes, I did get 100 yards receiving. Oh, oh, well. Here, here's another turnover. Hey, and another uh, return for a TD. I think that's like, what, three TD returns for the 49ers defense? I mean, I hate to leave this episode on a low note, but man, we just got an ass kick today. No if ands, or buts about it. We just got, we just got annihilated. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. Make sure you share the video. Tell your friends about this channel if they want to, you know, see more Escobar Sanchez. I really hate to end this video on a bad note like this of us getting killed, but spoiler alert. These turnovers, they're not going to stop. <laughs> These turnovers aren't going to stop. I want to thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Uh, yeah, keep an eye out for the next episode. But as for always, folks, this is Boy Energy Commentary, and I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.